Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be discussing top five designer evening bags. With the holiday season fast approaching, I'm sure we have a lot more social commitments than any other month, whether it be Christmas parties, New Year's Eve parties, or just nicer dinners out, whatever it might be. I'm sure a lot of us have a lot more on our social calendars than your average month throughout the year. So I thought it might be the perfect timing for me to do this video and talk about my favorite designer evening bags. And I'm going to go through these evening bags in the order from the most affordable to the most expensive. If you guys are like me and you don't normally have a lot of the evening events to go to, then you might want to consider the more affordable options while still giving you that designer look. So I thought it might be a good way to go through my list. And before we get into the video, if you're new here, I am so glad you're here. Welcome. I'm Isabel and I do new videos every week on luxury and fashion. So if you are into these topics, I would really love it if you subscribe to my channel so we can be friends here on YouTube and we can share our passion together. So without further ado, let's start with my very first pick. So the first bag on my list is, of course, the YSL Uptown Pouch. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you know how much I absolutely love this clutch. Not only because it looks so classic, but because of its price point. So this one retails for 475 US dollars or just over 600 Australian dollars. Whilst that's still a lot of money for a small clutch, I think it is a very reasonable price point considering it is a designer item that can elevate so many of your looks. So this is technically a small leather good, it's not a bag, and that's why the price point is so good. So for anyone out there who is like me, who wants to get a designer evening bag, but doesn't want to spend too much money on it because you don't have a lot of evening events, I think this is absolutely a fantastic choice. It is a simple envelope style clutch with just that one flap closure, and it is very, very thin, but because it does have a decent size when you look at it from the front, it does have a substantial feel to it. And the back has nothing, it's just a simple leather finish. And although this is a very slim clutch, you can actually still fit all your essentials. I can definitely fit my larger sized iPhone 7 Plus. You can also fit a couple of lip glosses, a car key and a card holder, which is pretty much all I need on an evening out. And I love it so much that I've actually got two in this style. So I've also got one with the silver hardware in the mock croc leather finish. So I've got two options when it comes to hardware color. So if I am wearing gold tone jewelry on the night, then I can always opt for this one. Whereas if I'm going for the silver tone jewelry for the evening, then I can always opt for the mock croc version with the silver hardware. I'm not always so matchy matchy with my hardware colors, but when you're dressing up for a more formal event, I think it's always nice to match your hardware colors with your jewelry color. So I just love having both options. And because of the excellent price point, I didn't feel too guilty purchasing two of the same style. So I just really cannot recommend these uptown pouches enough. And for anyone who may be interested in checking these pouches out, I'll leave links to these pouches down below. The next evening bag I'm going to talk about is from Louis Vuitton and it is a relatively new addition to my collection and it is the Louis Vuitton double zip pouch. My particular one is in the emprunt leather in that beautiful elegant creamy color with a little bit of python accent on the top there and the back has the same sort of python finish and the piping is all done in the python finish as well. I'd recommend this clutch for anyone who's looking to get an evening appropriate bag but at the same time you're looking for something that has a little bit more versatility than the uptown pouch. I feel that this one you can dress up and down a little bit easier than the uptown pouch. I feel like the uptown pouch looks a lot more dressy whereas this double zipped pouch you can quite easily dress it down partly because it's got the zip closure which makes it a little bit more casual and also it can fit a little bit more than what you can fit in the uptown pouch. Not to mention it does come with a detachable chain strap so you can attach this to the D rings on either side of this bag and make it into a crossbody or a shoulder bag, which adds to its versatility. So the gold chain is amazing. In terms of the construction of the bag, it is a very simple design. It's almost like two zip pouches glued together. So you've got one zip compartment at the front here and another zip compartment behind here. 
and what I love about this is that it's actually got the inbuilt card slots in there so you don't necessarily have to carry a card holder or a small wallet saving more space so that you can fit a few more things in there it's also got an open compartment in the middle so you can put little parking tickets or anything that you want easy access to so that is a very handy feature and whatever needs to stay a bit more secure you can pop into one of the zipped compartments personally if you're going for this style I'd go for the Omprom version over the canvas versions Louis Vuitton does this style in the monogram canvas as well but I feel like that one looks a little bit more casual so if you do want to double this as a casual and an evening bag I definitely recommend the Omprom leather and the Omprom leather version comes in a few different colors as well so you can find a color that will work really well with your existing wardrobe in terms of the price point it retails for 920 euros I bought this in Italy but I did some research it does retail for 2000 Australian dollars which considering it's got some exotic leather on it is a pretty good price in my opinion but if you do go for an on-print leather version without any python on it I remember the price to be 720 euros and around 1500 Australian dollars so for a versatile designer bag not a bad price point but I can really see a lot of use with this bag my third pick is the Valentino Glam Lock bag mine is in the Valentino nude color and the color code is P45 and it is also also in the larger size so Valentino does this bag in two different sizes one slightly smaller and this is a larger size first of all how beautiful is it it is such an amazing nude color and all of these rock star details and their hardware from what I've heard is platinum plated so they are really high quality metal and that's why even the rock stars on your Valentino Rockstar shoes glisten so beautifully and these are just cut to perfection so the hardware just has this beautiful glisten to it. I would recommend this bag for anyone who wants their evening bag to carry a little bit more than just the bare minimum essentials. So the Louis Vuitton zip pouch and the YSL Uptown pouches, they're great but you can really only fit your phone and a couple of other little items in it whereas this bag here does have a bit of a width to it so you can actually fit a lot more in it and it does have a couple more options in terms of how you can carry it so this gold chain is also detachable so you can actually carry this bag as a handheld clutch you can also carry it as a shorter bag with the double chain a long shoulder bag with the single chain and when it's on the single chain setting it is also long enough to be carried as a crossbody bag so this definitely has a bit more versatility to it and to quickly show you the interior it does have the push lock closure so it opens like so and I do have some stuffing paper inside of it and if you have a look on the inside it is a very simple construction but it does have quite a generous amount of space inside so you can maybe even fit a compact a little makeup pouch and a few other items like a larger hand cream and all that and it also has two little slip pockets at the front and a zipped compartment at the back so definitely more of a handbag than a very slim clutch so if you are not such a minimalist and you want to carry a bit more on your evenings out then I definitely recommend looking into this bag in terms of the price point this one definitely is a little bit more expensive than the other two pouches that I showed you so this one retails for 2,900 Australian dollars at the moment when I got it it was around the two and a half thousand Australian dollar mark at the time it was a hefty investment I got this a couple of years ago but I think it is worth it because it is so beautiful and also I just really love how understated it is unless you do recognize the rockstar design of Valentino you probably won't really recognize this as any designer brand because it's only got that tiny little engraving there that says Valentino but other than that it doesn't have a loud logo so I definitely think that this is an elegant choice and if you do want to be a little bit under the radar and don't want to advertise that you are carrying a designer handbag then this is definitely a great option next on my list is the Chanel rectangular mini flat bag of course there had to be a Chanel bag in this list because they do stunning bags I particularly picked the rectangular mini because it is a small enough size to be carried out in the evening 
evening but I think the mini size is a little bit more fun than the medium or the small sizes they look really serious in my opinion and out of the two mini styles which is the square mini and this rectangular mini I actually prefer the rectangular mini to take out on an evening because it does have a little bit more of a clutch style to it I feel that the square mini looks a little bit more casual whereas the rectangular mini does dress up a little bit nicer the reason I really love the rectangular mini as an evening bag option is again because of its versatility you can tuck in the chain like I have done and carry it as a handheld clutch and of course you can pull the chain out and use it a little bit more casually as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag so I just think that if you are going to invest in an evening bag it's always nice to have the option of dressing it down especially when you're paying a little bit more as in this case so the Chanel rectangular mini at the moment retails for just over five thousand Australian dollars Chanel just had a price increase as you guys know about a month ago and all of Chanel's handbags are just priced crazy now in my opinion so I personally don't think I'll be buying another Chanel handbag anytime soon I do have quite a few in my collection and I'm really happy with them and just to quickly show the inside again you can carry a little bit more in this bag than just the phone and a couple of lip glosses and a key because of the depth of the bag there so very simple design one open compartment and one slip compartment and a zipped compartment as well so if you are really pushed for space what I normally do is I don't carry a card case or a wallet I actually put my cards and you know cash in that zip compartment that way I can maximize the space use in this mini bag so again because of the versatility of this bag I do definitely recommend it despite the high price point next on my list is the Hermes Jige Clutch. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. If you guys know how to pronounce that properly, do let me know in the comments below. I don't actually have that clutch in my collection, but it might be on my wish list. I did see the clutch in person while I was in Paris, and I just can't believe I didn't buy it because I was so fixated on getting my Birkin or Kelly. So I didn't really consider it at the time, but thinking back, I kind of regret not buying that one. But anyway, when I checked that clutch out in Paris, I remember the size was very similar to the size of the YSL Uptown pouch, maybe a little bit shorter, but it did have a pretty good capacity to it. What I absolutely love about that clutch is that it has no hardware on it, so it doesn't have any metal parts to it. And that is a huge advantage in my opinion because you don't ever have to worry about matching your jewelry tone to your hardware color of the bag. Like I showed you with the YSL Uptown pouch, because I sometimes don't want to mix metals, I ended up purchasing both the gold and the silver hardware wear versions whereas with the Giga pouch you can wear it with silver, gold, gum metal, rose gold, anything because the clutch has no metal work to it. So that is a massive plus and of course it looks so timeless and elegant. I absolutely adore the aesthetics of that clutch as well. And in terms of the price point, I'm actually not 100% sure how much it retails for, but I'm assuming it's over 5,000 Australian dollars, maybe even six. I'm not actually sure. So if any of you has any information on the pricing, do let us know in the comments below. It is definitely a new item on my wish list. So I'd love to know if you guys have any other recommendations when it comes to designer evening bags so do share your recommendations down below in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as always thank you so much for watching this video and spending some of your precious time with me today and i can't wait to see you again soon in my next video bye guys